Good morning. Good morning, beautiful ladies. How are you? I am really, really thrilled to have you here today and this morning. Um, it's Friday, Friday the 13th. I always think it's it's a lucky day. <laughs> it's a very lucky day. I feel lucky to be here sharing my moment and my happiness with you. Um, and, and yeah, welcome to Empowering Business Woman uh, Virtual Meet and Greet. This is actually my first virtual one. Um, I normally do these here locally in the state of Florida. Um, I am Blangelica. I am founder of I Am My Biggest Fan and store owner of Blangelica's Boutique here in Florida. I do services as um, workshops, classes, everything that is aligned to to help people be their own kind of happy. I, I believe in personal transformation to happiness through holistic approach. Everything that I have done in my life that has worked tremendously for me to unlock every level of my life, I, have, I always share with everyone else. I am really, really, really happy. Hold on, I have to admit someone else. I am really happy to be here with you and hosting this spot and safe space for us to share our love and passion and energy. This is a very supportive group. Um, there's no judgment. I don't like judgment. We're we're not here to compete. We're not here to to who's best. No, we're here to embrace our our life, to embrace our challenges, to um to actually share, motivate, and network. I believe that every time that you network with like minded individual, we become stronger. We build each other. There's we become it's long lasting relationships and and. And the, the stronger we get, the bigger we grow. And as I grow, everyone grows. It doesn't fail. I have done this all my life and it's beautiful. So I want to welcome you today for our first one and only, but not the last one for sure. <laughs> and um, so this is, I, I, I want everybody to feel that they're comfortable in, in, their, in their journey and they want to share the most beautiful thing in their life that they're working on, either big or small. There's no right or wrong. Um, I want to embrace anything that if you have any challenges, um, also to let them know, I think we all here have, um, I like finding solutions. So if I don't know it, I might have someone that might have so your solutions. Um, and if you have any events coming up, I would like for you to share. If, um, if there's any, um, other than struggles, if there's anything you want to feel that is, is beautiful for you to know, and because your story will help someone else and someone else is always t um, waiting for you to tell your story. Um, it always helps for you to be your genuine self authentic and uh, be your kind of happy. I believe that everyone should be their kind of happy. And I believe that everyone could be their biggest fan. So yes, with that being said, I want to go ahead and start and get right to it. Um, I do want to give the opportunity to Kelly because she has to go to work here shortly. And Kelly, if you could come on in and um, share your, your, your life, your love, your passion and your purpose here. I wish I could figure out how to turn off the camera, but um, so my name is Kelly for everybody who doesn't know me. Um, I'm a mother of three beautiful boys. Um, within the last three to four years, I've had a deep desire to get free from the nine to five matrix. Um, so I started a high ticket business and hopefully through this business, I'm able to set myself free to where I've got true time, financial freedom, and I'm able to help set as many other people free who also have that same desire in mind. Oh, and a little bit about me. I love to dance. I love to cook. I'm from South Louisiana, so I love to cook all the great Cajun dishes. Um, I love to exercise and work out. I actually started studying to get my NASM certified personal trainer all I've got left to do is take the final test um yep and that's me it's so nice to meet everybody and I'm looking forward to getting to know you perfect are you looking for anything in particular that that you think it might help you thrive or unlock it there's no right or wrong right <laughs> Um, honestly, my biggest hurdle right now is dealing with self-worth and knowing that I'm worthy of all my desires as well. Um, I'm, I come from a childhood with very strict religious practices. So I was shunned from a young age. So I always had that feeling of unworthiness. Um, and I ended up being in an abusive relationship, which 
you know, made my self-worth even worse. So I've been separated from that situation for seven years. So really I'm all about my growth and learning to love myself. Perfect. Um, you know, I resonate with you. I, I was also abused, um, uh, sexually abused at the age of three and, um, physically, emotionally abused. Um, when I was married, um, I do have a, it's, it's, it's a Facebook group called healing with Langelica and I offer free resources and I'm, I feel free to ask whatever I do have some, um, confidence, self-esteem, self-love, self-care. I do journals. It makes me happy making them for you. It's completely free and you could come, come on in. I could, after this, um, this call, I'll send you guys also, um, uh, the live stream as well. So you could come back and get your notes set. Um, and I will send you all my links as well. You're, you're always welcome and you always will find a safe space where you could grow within. And I got you girl. I got you. Thank you so all much right. for having me. All right. Uh, well, I think I want to go with Amanda. I love her. Look at that. Good morning. Uh, my name is Amanda Gaskin. I am a nurse practitioner. I live in Winter Haven, but my business, I own a primary care practice, is in Leesburg. So it's an hour and 45 minutes away. And so my purpose was when I was living in Leesburg, because I just got married, when I was living in Leesburg, I had all these friends and all these networks, but now I've chosen love over all the things that I was doing here. So I want to build a new network because I get to work at five and as soon as work is over, I'm trying to get back on the road to get back. So I still need my sisterhood um, that I had while I was here. So that was the purpose of joining this is I just, I need my sister. Like, I love that man. He is great, but I need girlfriend time. <laughs> He's just a <the> boy. <laughs> yes, we do. We do need that time. It's, it's beautiful. I can relate to that. That's amazing. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah we'll connect and you can always come here. Friday and Saturday from 11 to 4. <laughs> yeah, I'm home. I get home at 7 every night. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll make sure we, we'll get back to that. Well, my pleasure meeting you. It's so, it's so fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Yes, well, thank you for... Oh, is there any other than uh, working and, and, um, and connecting with like-minded? Is there any struggles that you're dealing with right now? I have one biological child, but through marriage, I have six. Um, my biological son is 20 and he's in prison. So that's heavy. Um, just right. navigating that. He um, just started. He, he's he got an 18 month sentence. So just um, a big part is like knowing that it's not my fault because I did every single thing that I possibly knew and he still chose that path. And so just... Um, holding me up while I go through that because sometimes I'm okay and sometimes I'm not okay with my and it's childhood. okay and it's yeah. okay you know it's okay to be vulnerable sometimes it's okay to cry it's okay to let it out um you know uh years ago I deal with a lot of anxiety and depression and and I learned that being vulnerable is a sign of strength when you release and you stop no longer coping you need to heal let that go mm -hmm. then you start you start feeling a lot more and yeah, so I can't wait to continue to grow together with you. And um, if you if you need any free resources, come on down to my group. And if you if you don't find anything there, just let me know. I'll make it for you. Thank you. All right, Melissa. Melissa, we we met in one of those local groups here in town. Um, and um, we just connected. She was also looking to grow her her like her her sisterhood and I'm like I'm right here and, yes. she's and how and lucky am I that you're like five miles down the road it's amazing <laughs> yep you have a great store and thank you for putting this together too sure. um so I'm Melissa or Mel um depends on you know um my, my practice I'm a functional medicine practitioner it's virtual um, my personal life I am a lover of nature all things healthy living my furry ones, especially my my canine, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I uh, I came out of the conventional healthcare world after 35 years of practicing um, both as a nurse and in administration. Um, I went through a healing journey for myself in functional medicine, 
And then it just completely sparked a passion in me to be able to do this to help patients get on a healthy healing path, discovering, you know, what their root cause is, why you're struggling. Um, and so that's it. I've just been marketing and, and growing my, my practice. She has a beautiful dog. I mean, he's a bear for it's sure. Amazing. Big <laughs> boss. Um, yeah. So she's locally and we met and um, she does have an amazing um, journey going forward. And I'm so happy we connected and to grow our network, not only locally, but we are worldwide, baby. We are. It is beautiful because I said it last year. I said it last year and and, and people looked at me. This girl is crazy. I remember saying it because I'm still in corporate world and I'm transitioning Um but that leads me to a story that I will wait until we get to Yami. But before we get to Yami, Melissa, any struggles that you would like to um, share? I, I don't, I think that every day I grow and learn. I come from also trauma and childhood with a lot of domestic violence. And I made lots of poor choices in my life, <laughs> um, which also helps me be able to relate to my clients. But, yeah. you know, looking inward, it's, it's a daily thing. You know, I, I, I'm big about practicing my meditation and getting out in nature every day, rain or shine. <laughs> uh, that's my, my healing place. Um, so I think just that I don't really find it as a struggle more that it's just that it's a journey of healing, you know, and it's, yeah, it's, some days are harder than others. Um, but yeah, there's a process. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's different tools that we have. And it's great that you stay connected with nature. It's, it's very important. It's very important. Um, I have tried a lot of healing modalities um, and, and connected with nature, just breathing, just going barefooted, walking um, and ground. It's, it has helped me a lot to, to release um, Reiki heal. I have to Reiki heal myself every night with my busy schedule in order for me to um, have a, a really good sleep and, and be able to wake up and do it over again every day. So, um, but I'm really proud of you and you know, you're always here. I mean, I'm always here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always here too, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings me back to Jami. This Jami, listen, I I I live here in Arbordale, Florida, and um the house that I live on my way to my corporate office. So I used to pass by this street. It's called Berkeley Road. So I, I will come by and just drive down and then I will see Healthy Thrive, Healthy Thrive. And I love tribes. So, <laughs> and then I'm like, one day I'm just going to stop there and, and see what it's all about. So I did. And then I come in and then bubbly me. Hi, how are you? My name is Blangelica. <laughs> how are you doing? And then that's how I met Jamie. Go ahead, Jamie. Hi everyone. So Jami, um, I'm 40 years old. I'm from Puerto Rico. I am married to an active duty soldier. Um, we have two girls, three dogs, one cat, and I own a business in Auburndale. It's called Healthy Tribe Nutrition. So it's a nutrition shop. Um, I've been doing these for, so the business two years and then, you know, the, the wellness journey for six years. So now I like helping other women reach their wellness goals. Um, I run a fit camp every Tuesday and Thursday in Polk City. So it's a wonderful women community. Um, no judgment zone. It's it feels more like family now because we get together every week. So we have been consistently doing that. Um, and about my struggles, I was sharing with Langelica today that one of the things that it's been on the back of my mind. It's how can I attract um, empowered, positive women to my life? So the business that I do, I like helping women. And I'm thinking, how can I attract positive people to my life, empowered women to my life? So that's what I'm working on right now. Perfect. And one of the good things, see, when I met her, I didn't own, I had, I, my company was already started. My, I started my company. I am my biggest fan three years ago. And then when I met her, I didn't have this store that where I'm at right now. Um, and all of a sudden that conversation, the first day I met, do you know if they're renting anything around here? She said, yes, they're renting. There's one right there, which is this spot. 
And next thing you know, um, yeah, I rented it out and I didn't know what I was going to build, but then it just hit me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a Bohemian Boutique in a holistic studio. And, and I'm going to bring classes and workshops and Reiki healing and holistic healing, metaphysical products. And, and I just did. And here I am. So she was one. She's like the one that actually seen my struggles when I was trying to open the store. I would go in and like, oh, my God, what a mess. And I will cry and stuff. But it's it's good. It's part of the process. And when I met her, she was she was just opening up. It was pretty slow. And now it's like constantly bringing people in. So it's good to see people's process um, and to build each other up as we grow. The more we build each other and the more we support each other, like we go in there and we just actually find solutions. Let's let's plan this. Let's plan that. And there's I don't believe in competition. I don't believe at all. I believe in genuinely just supporting. I mean, of course, I used to share love in the wrong places before. Now I share my love in the right places with the right people. And that's how we grow. And that's one of the reasons why I do these events, um, because that's how we grow. You can't you can't go back to those old methods that were not working and they were keeping you stuck. So I'm proud of you, Yami, for for seeing you overcome. And I'm and we're always here to um yeah and to celebrate because every win is every win. No, if there's no big or small, I want to celebrate everything. Okay, so thank you for being here. Let's go with Miss Tammy. If I, if I can find the unmute button first. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How are you? Um, okay, wow. First of all, I want to thank my beautiful, sweet friend, Melissa, <clears throat> excuse me, for inviting me to be a part of you. Um, yes, so I have I have been on the struggle for the past few, quite a few years. I am actually a mom of two. I have two children that are autistic. autistic. Um, so finding all the things to better their lives, to make it easier has been a major journey. I actually started going back to school five years ago to be a SPED teacher that kind of fell through the loops and ended me up into the mental health field. Um, I, I actually graduated last year and with all of that, I've been working on ways to help others, um, help other moms with children in the same situation and also trying to find better ways to improve their health and their wellness, which probably most of you know, that is key to <laughs> our livelihood and to keeping us healthy and going. Um, I've recently been working on my holistic nutrition consultant certification and hopefully if all goes well. I'll be passing that test today. <laughs> Oh, and, wow, today. Yeah, I'm working on that. So and <clears throat> bear with me. I'm getting over some sinus issues here. So with that being said, I am planning on starting yeah, my own small business and helping others learn how to better work on their tr nutrition to live a healthier life. So that's pretty much me in a nutshell. And I'm looking forward to meeting up with you all and learning more. And releasing, yeah, some of the anxieties that go along with daily life and working on all these things. It does, those are your currently struggles, your anxiety? Yeah, I've learned to balance a lot of it just through, I'm actually out in Tennessee. So um, we've got a decent amount of little property. So I spend my time out there with my chickens and all the things and oh. then and all of the nature, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, being able to navigate every day through the different struggles that my kids are experiencing while working on improving their gut health and whatnot is actually part of that. So finding calmness, trying to teach them uh, meditation skills and calming situations has been big. Okay. Well, I mean, um, see, I deal with anxiety and depression for since I was a little girl, but I knew that I didn't own it. It was not part of me. And I went to therapists. I went to doctors. They will just either prescribe more or change the medication, but there was no, there was no healing. And then it just made me a very ugly person. Actually, I was very mean. 
<laughs> I, I mean, I'm not a mean person. I love sharing love, right? So, I mean, unless you want to try me, but <laughs> we're not going to go there. <laughs> but um, and I started using Reiki in 2007 um as a as a coping mechanism because I didn't I didn't feel that it was right and then every time I used it it just eased me right three years ago I decided to become a Reiki master and now that's when everything changed for me I was able to take myself out of anxiety and depression pills and that only that but then also allow me to ha um, have the opportunity to open this business this business would have never happened if I would have never taken ownership of myself because the more you heal, the more you overcome past traumas, um, childhood, um, any, any, whatever, anything that it's not serving you a, um, a purpose, the better you will get and the more chances of be, becoming the best version of yourself you will get. I'm just going to well, share that there. Yeah. That, well, that's, I mean, I have to, I have to admit that is something that I have learned along the way because yes, it's a lot of it stems from childhood issues um mm -hmm. and trauma so i've learned better on how to deal with that because yes i've also had to go through therapy i've also gone through anxiety medicine it is not the solution it's a band-aid and it really doesn't help unless you can start to work on yourself so that's something i'm working on improving as the time goes by with the help of people like you and melissa and, and yeah Arnold. Yeah. And we're always here. We're never alone. I always tell people you're never alone. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to, to stay to yourself. If you don't want to talk to someone, it's okay. We're, we're here to just give you time. Cause I've been there and I, and, and you never know when it's going to come back. But now the more you heal, the better, the more control you have of yourself. And, and you will see how you will stay away from negative people because it doesn't serve you any longer. <laughs> Okay. But well, I'm happy to have you here. And, and I'm so happy you, you messaged me last night and we got it all squared out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm here to help you and help you grow as well. Okay. Never feel alone. We got you. I'm here for you, Candice. Welcome, Candice. Sorry, I always have trouble finding the unmute button. <laughs> Hi, um, how are you? I'm good. Um, yeah, so I'm Candice. I'm actually from Toronto, Canada. Oh, wow. We made it to Canada. You're my first. Yes. Yes. You're my first. We're celebrating today. Oh. My um, my husband's parents have a house in Florida, so we visit uh, quite often. Awesome. Where at in Florida? Uh, Bradenton. Oh, yeah. It's like um, an hour and a half from here or so. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome. I want to hear so much about you. Let's go. <laughs> so I call myself a multi-passionate creative um, because I do a lot. Um, I'm a, okay, my friends say I should always talk myself up. So I'm a best-selling novelist. Yeah. I am a six-figure e-com store founder. Yeah. I design, yes. I design my own affirmation products to sell on my e-com store um, I'm also, I call myself an amateur music producer. I have my little keyboard next to me all the time. Um, oh. I monetized my writing and it kind of ruined the passion for me for a while. So I decided my music is just going to be like for me. If I make some money from it, awesome. But I'm not going to try to turn in my music into a business, at least not yet for now, it's just for me. Um, but what I'm really excited about is my work as a creativity facilitator, where I basically hold workshops and do coaching and help people do the same thing that I've done. Take my creative passions um, and turn it into like an actual like thing in the world, basically launching your passion project like into the world for other people to see. So um, yeah, I help put people focus on uh, a lot of mindset work around creative blocks. There's a lot of people who wish they could work on that creative project, but they have so many blocks like perfectionism and procrastination and even just self-worth like oh I have so much so many things to do I can't take the time to spend it on me and my passions you know I don't have the time or you know there's other people who need me and so I work a lot on the mindset piece um and also the just the productivity piece just the sitting down just doing the thing just like just sit down and get it done 
Um, yeah. And then once that project is complete, I then help them actually launch it into the world, find their audience, maybe hopefully make money because all artists deserve to be paid for their work. Yeah. Yes, you're right. I mean, everybody should be, should deserves to be paid for whatever work they do. Um, you know, and I'm really nice. That's all. I want to hear more. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Any struggles um, that you're currently having? So there's two things. One is, like I mentioned, the mindset work. When speaking with people and finding clients, a lot of people have the mindset block of, it's just, it's like a self-worth thing. And I don't want to have to try to be a therapist to help them get over the hump, you know? So they have to already be ready to work with me and have already like like recovered from that, that, that trauma to be open to working on themselves and their own passions. Um, so I do have to kind of turn down some people because I'm like, you're not ready. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's one of the things that I do, um, you know, being, um, a facilitator for healing and motivation and passion and all that. Um, that's why I created a group where I could just share free resources for people that are not ready yet. Um, because I, I, I cannot, I, I cannot, I cannot work with people that I, that are not ready. It will, it will drain me. It will make your, it will, it will make your time not, not be, I don't want to say wasted because at, at some time there will be, it's not that they're not ready. They're just not ready right then. And right now they could, they would be, they will, if they work within themselves, but they're not ready then. And it's hard for me because I mean, I work long hours. So if you're ready, I want, I want to make sure that you're full potential that you're going to grab yourself and you're going to say, yes, I'm ready for it. And I'm going to go get it. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, I, I love what you do. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm multifaceted. So, yes, I find myself doing a lot of things. And I I mean, I I designed my my websites that were designed by me. The shirts that I sell, they're designed by me. Um, I started building journals and planners. That's how my company started. And then I opened an online store and then I opened this store. And and basically, like all these workshops, I do I create them myself. I, I love putting my energy into everything I do because I know it's coming from my heart. And when you put everything you have a passion for, it never fails. You will attract the correct people. So that's impressive. I love that. And I'm so happy you're here. Yeah, this is so I know a lot of people from Canada in my personal world, but when I say we made it to camera because uh Canada, it's because you're my first uh connection from Canada as a one-on-one -on -one that we're actually discussing one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm I'm so happy to have you. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, perfect. We're gonna move down to Sonia. Hey, so I've been we came across in other groups, you know, and um, so we were like, and I, and I like what she posted, and she likes what I posted, and I'm like, oh my god, are you coming to my meeting? And there she is. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's good to be here, and especially hearing everyone else talk, um, because coincidentally enough that. I have been thinking for the past week or two of trying to create some sort of network of women that are like same mindset as me. Like we're trying to reach these goals and do better and grow. Um, because so I am also Canadian, but we live in Mexico right now, <laughs> Alberta though. So other side, and, uh, I don't, I'm working on my Spanish, but it's still a work in progress. So I don't really, I have, friends in my neighborhood, but everybody's busy. Everybody works. So I don't really have a network here. And then I don't know if you guys try and do the long distance friendship thing. Like everyone back home is busy with their lives. And I love my friends from Canada, but they're also not on the level I'm going where I'm going. Like they do their thing and they're happy and they stay and they're good. So yeah, I didn't quite know what was going to be in this meeting today, but I'm I'm super pumped to be like we're all just here. We help each other. Maybe we just chat. Like we're just we're just here. So yeah, I love that. Um, I am a stress and anxiety coach, uh, focusing on work life balance, and yeah, I think yeah, my biggest struggle, I have two struggles. Is the first was yeah, finding those connections because I do also 
tend to be quite introverted. I'm that weird, like I get on my lives and I'll go to like parties and I'm like, woo, and then all of a sudden the door shuts and I'm like, don't. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, and it's just like when you're done, you're done. And sometimes you just wake up and you're like, <laughs> so um, yeah, it's good to just fall into this group. And I think it's going to be wonderful. So I, str I struggle trying to meet the new people and like, not question so what do you do where are you going in life are we going to be friends <laughs> i can't do that i can't i won't I'm, I'm a type of person i i started sales as an early child my family owned um businesses and so my dad also had like a convenience store so i've always been in sales and to build sales you have to build rapport I can, I'm not going to go into your inbox and sell you something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I believe that anyone that they need to, they will let themselves be known because I'm attracting you. I'm not here to sell you um, something or a course or anything like that. You will believe in me. If you do, you're more than welcome to buy anything from me, but I make sure that what you're buying is worth it. Yeah. And, I love that. And, and then, I, I'm just, yeah. And, and, and I'm, and I'm really resonate with you at some point because a few years ago, not anymore at this moment, I, I realized that, but the more you grow, the more you start doing better things for yourself to align your life with happiness and fill it with some, a lot of joy, either professionally or, 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 um, or you're in your relationship, it doesn't matter. You will see that people will start fading out of your life and it's okay to let them go. It's okay. You then, then your network will start. You your energy will start bringing people, and that's why you're here. You see how it relates. Now we will continue to have business meetings like this, but it's more like a sisterhood where we bring in, we connect, because we never know when I'm gonna need your services or when I'm gonna need, or I have customers. I'm not. I don't know at all. So customers, I might. I need to. I need to connect and find somewhere that they could go, and that's why we're here. You know, uh, there's tons of people that you go and they they charge you to do networking. I don't believe in 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 charging anyone to do networking. It's totally free and it's completely, it's just, it's just energy. People will go where your energy is. It doesn't fail. So I'm, I'm really proud of you that, that you're acknowledging that and you're overcoming and I'm proud of you being on camera. See? <laughs> yeah. So good. I'm, I'm like that. I like that. Um, anything else you want to share? Um, I think, well, I love, I've gotten really big into the collaborating. Like I love interviewing different complementary niches. Um, I'm fairly new to collaborating with people. So all I know is to interview people. So if anyone ever wants to do something together or has other ideas, I'm always open for stuff like that. I'm pretty, um, yeah, a pretty open-minded person into like, I don't want to say adventurous. I will never jump out of a plane, but adventurous in the sense of like new things. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm always collaborating. Collaboration will always has brought me really meaningful connections with people. Um, and it's not only what I know, you might not know. Um, hold on. I have someone that is, let me admit her. She's running a little bit late. Um, what, what I know what I know, you might not know. What you know, I might not know. Collaboration always gives you that um, that opportunity for self growth as well, or to to actually detect things that oh, I didn't know that. Maybe I should try it on. Maybe I should try it on. You know, and so it's great, great, great. I'm willing to collaborate with you. I'm always willing. Um, I'll check my schedule. We'll talk about it. I think it will be for. I'm probably booked already till November, but it'll probably like on a Friday, November. Okay. We'll talk about it. Thank you for being here. I love you. Dory, come on out, Dory. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's your I show. Don't why, I, I don't know why I can't get my picture. I struggle with this sometimes. Um, I am Dory Shackford. <laughs> I am a doTERRA wellness advocate um, with essential oils. And my focus is on education. Um, I like to um, educate people on 
how, um, what you put in your body, what you put on your body, all the toxic things there are in the world, trying to help you get rid of those through natural products. And my focus is on education and I do sampling, I do vendor events, and I actually have one coming up tomorrow. If anybody's in Winter Haven, um, I will be at the um, Amazing Realty. It's um, called Brunch with the Broker from 11 um, to 1 tomorrow. And um, uh, she's doing a pop-up vendor event, and I was invited to be her first vendor. Oh, nice. So I do have um, every Monday I put out an email class because sometimes it's hard to get on a Zoom. Um, sometimes it's hard to go out in person somewhere. So I just email a class every Monday. I have a private Facebook page all about essential oils and products. And I just help as I can. That's awesome. So I met Dory back in, I think it's like one of these local groups. Um, and then she was on my Facebook and she also joined me for our Empowered woman in business i have a breakfast kind of meetup that we i host every month so we just meet up at nine o'clock from nine to ten on a friday and we just have we do basically the same thing here but um but over breakfast and then we just share positive we work on our struggles and build connections so that's i do this locally as well and it's totally free as well. <laughs> so Dory came in, but I also have other uh, community members that we help each other grow. And then she's also known. And, and after I met her, I connected her with another Arthur here in locally. So yeah, that's how we grow, ladies. I can't be more than um, proud to just continue to share these events with you because the more the merrier. <laughs> Dory, anything you're struggling um, I do, um, I am a melanoma survivor, so I do indoor events only. So I'm always looking for indoor vendor events. So that's a struggle to get out. Um, I just moved to Florida in 2020. So I'm kind of starting over again. And I do live in Lakeland, but um, I'm willing to go all over the state of Florida. Okay, so you're only doing state, not out of state. Yeah, I, um, doTERRA's, I have customers all over the U.S., but I will go in person all over the state of Florida if you need me to come for a consultation. And I do those free. Perfect, perfect. That's awesome, awesome. Anything else you would like to add? Any currently events? Um, just the one tomorrow I have at Winter Haven. I am actually going next week to Salt Lake City. Um, that's when doTERRA's annual convention is. And I will be learning about all the new products, all the new education, and I'll be doing some Facebook Lives on that and um, just trying to educate, keep educating. Perfect. Well, I'm happy to have you here today. Thank you. My we'll pleasure, my pleasure. Hey, we're gonna pass down to Leah. I'm so happy you finally made it, darling. I apologize for being late. I do apologize. So hopefully y'all will quickly type in the chat what it is that y'all do. Um, I am a financial coach, a financial educator it is my job. I come from the place of I just like helping people and I love helping people learn. Um, my focus is just helping families make better financial decisions so that you can have the financial future that you want. All my consultations are free and I want to give an example of that. So I met with a gentleman starting back in May. And I told him when we met, because investments aren't something you do overnight. Investments take a lot of time. I said to him, he goes, how much are you going to charge me? I said, I'm going to charge you nothing. He goes, what do you mean? I said, you're going to feel like you and I are dating. I said, you're, we, we're going to see each other once a week, maybe every other week. I said, until we get all the pieces of paper together, until we get all decided on what it is you want to do because I want to hear your full story your full plan I said and you have to know like and trust me I said because you're a referral to me it's going to take us a little while to do this I said by the time we're done though you're going to feel like we've dated um, and we actually just um, Wednesday finished up the last big transaction we're going to do and it was funny because he said to me he goes he goes do you realize this we've met you now have helped me find $120,000 worth of money and have it invested in a way that now I feel like I might actually be able to retire in five years. 
And that was huge. So that's kind of how I help people. I do a lot more than investments. I have my mortgage license, my life insurance license. Um, and I'm just here to talk counsel. If you've got debt and just want to plan to get out of debt, I'm going to help you do that. That's what I do. Um, I'm just looking for referral partners. I will put in the chat. I have a free resource um, about more about the different um, strategies that we use. I have a free digital book that you can download if you're looking for a free resource about how money works. Um, and then you can just ask me questions from there too. So that's all for me. Awesome. And chat and see what everyone does. So I also met Leah here uh, locally and she also comes into my... Um, my woman events here. She has also had um, sessions with me with Reiki Healing. And can you tell them a little bit more about after you Reiki? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to say. So I have been to one in-person Reiki session, two online Reiki sessions. My online Reiki sessions were the best 15 minutes of my life. Um, cause usually they are on Saturdays in the middle of kind of a stressful Saturdays for me are stressful. Cause I have training in the morning and then I see a, a lot of clients on the weekends cause most people work. So I see a lot of people on weekends. So for me at first, I thought, well, how does this work virtually? How am I really going to get this energy? But it was like the best moment, just the way the talk is the meditation to it. I just felt so much relief so much calmer. I was able to focus. I did was just so surprised by it, especially the first time. The second time that I experienced it, I kind of knew what I was in for. And I literally just kind of laid back in the chair. Like I couldn't just get on the floor. I'm in a conference room, you know, I have to, you know, I literally am just laying back in a chair and just like, wow, like I could feel the energy coming through and just felt like myself be able to focus for the rest of the day. And it's huge. And the time that I went, her space is amazing. If you do get the chance to go see her boutique in Auburndale, her boutique is amazing. Where she's sitting right now is her back office, her healing area. And I mean, she pulled out a table, put me on the table and did a Reiki session with me. And I felt like I have joint problems. I'm someone's trying to tell me it's arthritis. Um, I'm not believing that. I'm believing it's just that I'm not eating right. Um, and just that I stressed my own body out. And after a session with her, that was before I did the online ones. So I don't know if it's just that I was tuned to her energy better, but it's just amazing. I just felt better. The swelling went down, the pain in my hand went away. So I was super, super happy with everything that she does. And I'm just such a believer and I'm not done. I just need more time in my day. Yeah. So for the ones that don't know, um, Oh, before we move into this other oh, story, I, thank you so much. For the ones that don't know, I do offer free Reiki healing uh, classes every month. That's a, a part of me to pay it forward to the world for the grateful things that Reiki has done for me. And she has been in, in store and also on my online classes. It has also boosted your, your business as well. She, um, what you told me, oh, she, you shared that you, signed up four people back to back right after a Reiki session. Oh, I don't remember what I was doing. I just had a whole bunch of clients that day that it went really well, that like I was reaching out to people. They replied back. It was like the good energy in the world was just yes. set out. That I was receiving. I don't yeah. even remember I'm trying to think what day, which one that was, but yeah, it's every, after every one, I get so much more done. So much yeah. more happens. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for those kind of words. It makes my heart melt. I love those stories. Um, yeah, it makes me actually emotional too, because that's what I, I want people to be there kind of happy and become their biggest fan. I can't, I can't stress that enough. I mean, everything I've done for my life, I just want to share the love, share the passion. You're, you're the number one healer. You can heal yourself. You don't need anything just natural. Natural to me has been my blessing in my life. Um, there's a lot more that I have to encounter. There's a lot more that I'm going for um, 2025. I mean, I can't do it all at the same time. Baby steps, everything. Don't stress yourself. You have the power. Just believe that you're going to do it and just put your mind to it. Start slow, go higher, and just never come back. Next thing you know, the past is just a reference of your life. And then you're lapping, you're, you you're, you're, um, you're living in your true authenticity and, and just completely genuine living freely and happy. 
you you will feel the days when you come in and you wake up and you're like, thank you. Oh, that's all you need to say. Thank you. Thank you. I'm beautiful. I'm blessed. My, I'm, I'm full of energy. I couldn't be more than grateful to be here and, and just and just having this heart and this joy within you. People were people used to um criticize me because I share love as a child. I'm like, I knew I was freaking different because I freaking love people. I don't, I, I didn't know that I thought actually when I started growing, I thought people were really assholes. I'm like, uh no. And then when I became a Reiki master, actually it just opened a different form. I'm like, no, they're just hurting. Hurt people, hurt people. So then I realized I'm like, it was not me. I just had to take control control of my life and become my version, the true one, the the purpose, my life, and the joy that I that I genuinely wanted in my life. And now I share it with the world. And it's it is freaking amazing. It's it's powerful, it's beautiful. I I give free hugs. And now I share the love with the, in the right places with the right people. And it's beautiful. Um, just so, just to share a little bit about me, like I mentioned before, I'm Blangelica. I am the founder of I Am My Biggest Fan and store owner of Blangelica's Boutique. I believe in personal transformation and happiness. I do Reiki healing. I also offer diversity of holistic healing with other partners of ours here in the store. And all some of them are offered virtually. We offer tarot readings virtually, oracle readings virtually. We offer, um, I offer distant healing as well. I do empowerment life coaching as well because I use Reiki for everything. I mean, you you were either come here and you either feel you either healed or energized because you're gonna go kill it. You're gonna go and, and 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 say this is mine. I own it. I own my life. I believe in myself, and that's one of the things I I um named my company. I am my biggest fan because I have never never said no. And, and, and when people used to, when I used to share like, oh, I think I'm going to do this. And like, you crazy. Why are you doing that? Because that's all they know what to say. Right. Um, and I will, it just put me like, oh my God, I'm, then I'm not going to say anything I'm scared. And then I'm like, no, but my heart is telling me to go do it. And then every time I went for it, every time I went for it, <laughs> I did it. I am my biggest fan. And then I started using that as a hashtag on, on, on social media. Next thing you know, three years ago, now it's my, the name of the company. Believe in yourself. You're the best version of yourself. You have total control of your life. T trust me, I'm, I won't be doing this so much and just doing this out of like, ah, no. I believe so much in it that you have the power and the self-love is just flowing all over your body that you will become the best version of yourself. I promise you're blessed. And, um, so yes, I do life coaching. I have, I have my, um, my healing with Blangelica group. I have the empowerment business woman group. This is where we normally share all these events where we empower business like mind, like minded. It's in that group, um, for anyone that needs any free resources, uh, they're there. Um, I also host events virtually and here locally in, um, in, in Florida. I offer a free Reiki healing online every week. I mean, every month, um, I do these virtual meetings as well. And I also free um, either group or one-on-one -on -one, um, intro to Reiki. If you want to learn more about Reiki, I'm more than happy and just give you a freebie. That's not a problem. Sharing love is beautiful. And this is the best gift that I could ever give to anyone. I no longer care to give anyone anything monetary. Um, this is the gift that I could always give. And I think it's, it will be, it will be more beneficial than just to go into Walmart and buying you some a gift or Amazon or whatever. I'm telling you, this is, we make shit happen here. So with that being said, I'm so, I'm so happy to have you here. You will receive a replay of this so we can go back. And if you want to take any notes, um, and, and I'm fortunate to have you in my life and I can't wait to grow together. So if you have any events, any upcoming, um, whatever you're offering in your, in your world, share it in our group, empower business women that growing together that way that, um, our other um, group members that were not able to attend today, they could see what we did and, and let's grow the next one will be in November. Okay. 
So I will keep you updated. Um, the, the event is already in my website if you want to go ahead and check it out. But yes, it's coming up in November. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And just continue believing yourself. I love you.